In this video, I'll give you a job description for a blockchain developer. So if you want to hire a blockchain developer, then you can follow this template which I use over and over again when I'm hiring someone for the project, which you can easily able to consider. And it's also very important for the developer point of view that what are the skills you need to have if you really want to work on their project. So this is going to be a complete video on which we're going to highlight that what are the things you have to mention if you want your blockchain developer to build any type of project. So we're not being specific. But we want to test out that whether the blockchain developer which we are hiring, he has the good understanding of all of the things. So that's kind of job description we're going to build it to. Or you can easily able to follow this exact template. All you have to do is to specify your requirement and you can easily able to simply post on the job portals. So the very first thing you have to do is you have to mention the job title that what is the role what you are looking for so we are looking for a blockchain developer then you have to mention the company that what companies you are looking for if you're an individual if you have a freelancing project you can is able to mention your project requirement instead of company and the third thing you have to mention about the location that whether it's a permanent job in the office or it's a remote work right now you will find all the project you will get as a blockchain developer it's on the remote work so if you are from India, then definitely you will get most of the work as a remote. But if you are in from the Western part, definitely you will get an office to work in. So you have to mention the location. This one is very important. And that will give the clear idea for the developer so they can identify that whether it's a office or it's a remote. So mention about the location. After that, you have to mention about yourself, the project you have. So like you can mention something like the way we have in the template that XYZ Innovation is a cutting edge technology company that specializes in and you have to add the brief discussion about the company and the vision or maybe you are hiring someone for the project. You can mention about the project. We are seeking for a talented and innovative blockchain developer to join our dynamic team and contribute to the development of innovative blockchain solution. So this is quite small. Don't need to expand more than four lines. Just be short and try to involve the key points that what are things you want from a developer that's what we have mentioned that we want a developer who can join our team and contribute in the innovative solution and you can also mention about the project which you want them to work on so that's the good overview for a company then and there are a few things we have mentioned in the job and responsibilities so first thing is design and implement blockchain based application so he has to know that how he can design build a basic dab and he know what is the application of the blockchain then smart contract he has to know that how to write a smart contract third he has to know that how this decentralized can help solving the real world problem if you talk about the financial system of our today's time that's the problem we have we don't have our control on our own money bank decides that how much money we have to transfer if you try to transfer a higher amount or if you want to take all of your money from the account they're going to put a restriction and they will give you the notice period that you can easily able to withdraw the fund after this many days. So you have to know that what kind of problem this particular technology solves. The second one is collaborate with cross-functional teams to define project requirement and specific. Obviously, when you are hiring someone, that developer is going to work on a specific thing. Maybe he's work on a smart contract. So he has to be good enough to collaborate with uh, different teams, like maybe from the UI designers or a backend developer or a smart contract developer or a, say, a smart blockchain connector so you have to know that how we can collaborate with different functional teams in the project that's the second thing and these are the basic requirement okay these are the basic requirement you need to have before you have to be too specific in the project then third one we have is that ensure the security reliability and performance of the system so you have to know, he has to know that what are the vulnerability, what are the security loopholes we have in the technology and how we can overcome that, how we can improve the performance of the system. If you talk about the Ethereum, there is a problem of scalability. That's why we have a layer two solution like Polygon, which you can provide the same feature, same interface, but you can easily to scale your, your application. So he has to know the basic differences. We are not being specific. We are just being on the basics differences. He has to know about it. Now comes the fourth step stay up to date and latest trend and advancement in the blockchain technology so he has to keep himself updated because every single day new project is coming right now we have more than 45 blockchains so you have to know he has to or she has to know that which one is perfect for the client which one will save the money and what are the advantage we have for all of this blockchain so he has to keep himself up to date our number fifth we have is troubleshoot and resolve issue related to blockchain development so if he is working on a smart contract and so he has to know that how he can reduce the cost of a user 
when they will make the transaction on the contract so you have to know that how to troubleshoot that how to identify those vulnerabilities in the contract and how you can reduce the cost so if you use a string variable instead of call data in the contract that will cost obviously higher money so you have to know that what is the implementation of the variables state variable local variable array functional loop so you have to know and then how you can is able to save the money so that's called troubleshooting so when you will join the company these are the basic requirement you need to have as a blockchain developer and when you will work for a few days or few months then you're going to work on a specific things like as a smart contract auditor as a blockchain infrastructure designer or a ui front end back end smart contract auditing then you will be the specific but as an entry point they want you to have all of this as understanding not master but you have to have the understanding and now let's talk about the qualification which you need to have to work on this particular role so the qualification i'm going to highlight here is based on the company requirement so this is not for the freelancing it's a uh, based on the company so if you're going to work on a chain link or any other companies which work on the blockchain interface if you talk about the ibm so these are the requirements they want okay so if you want to ha get hired as a out of the requirement then you have to be very exceptional then they can hire you so the requirement generally we list out like this like you need to have a bachelor degree in computer science or related field so you have to have a background of a computer science where you can understand that how the computer work and how you can easily work around that so there is the first requirement the second one is that proven experience as a blockchain developer with a strong portfolio successful project so again i told you many time that if you don't build project no one will trust you that you know the skills i see many of you spend one or two month three month learning about the theoretical concept that what is blockchain and it will not take more than 5 minutes if you truly understand that what blockchain is those protocol those consensus layer that will come later when you will work on the project when you will actually involve in the project you can easily able to find out that what is consensus layer how much cash is paid so build project build project and that's what company is looking for second is the project third is the proficient in the blockchain platform such as ethereum hyperledger and other so as you all know that we have a multiple blockchain platform but the company will highlight that what kind of blockchain platform they want you to work on but they want you to have a basic understanding of the technology so if you talk about ethereum like how the contract execution what is evm they might ask you how the code executed what is miner so all of things you have to know the basics of the ethereum and hyperledger then then comes the programming language so we have a multiple choice to get as a blockchain developer into this space so like if you talk about the programming language we have a solidity which we use for writing the smart contract we have c++ which we use for creating the blockchain then we have java go rust so many programming language have so most of the common one which you will find is solidity and c++ if you are working on the protocol so that's the thing you have to keep in mind now comes the knowledge of consensus layer cryptography and smart contract development so these are the primary assets of the blockchain development if you don't understand this you cannot be a blockchain developer so you have to know that what is consensus algorithm how it's work and what are the advantages we have for this algorithm and how cryptography work because that's the entire game when it's come to blockchain that's the entire game how the cryptographically the data is assigned how the data is connected so how cryptography work how smart contract development work you have to know about it then comes the problem solving and analytical skill so definitely once you will build something you have to spend more time on looking at the security and the vulnerability and that's what we do as a blockchain developer so if i write a smart contract i can is able to build a smart contract for any type of business model like in an hour or three you can easily depending on the functionality depending on the services which we want to provide through that smart contract but the more time we spend on finding the bugs finding and solving the problem in the code looking for the analytical assets in terms of price optimization in terms of function call external contract execution internal contract execution external function pure function so these kind of analysis we do and check that what impact it's create when we use different variables and uh, the last one we have is excellent communication and collaborate abilities and this one is very important because if you have an idea and if you don't know how to express how to explain and communicate with the other members then that's not going to benefit your team so you have to be good in communications and it's not related to the language like if you are good in hindi explaining your thoughts to your team members and they understand hindi then it's good but here i want to highlight one thing that if you really want to work globally and if you want to get into a high company then they mostly follow english as their preferred language which for goes for the interview so you have to be good in english if you really want to attract the international clients
then comes the preferred skills which we want as a as a company look in the developer so it's depend on your company requirement so like you can easily able to mention that what is your requirement what tools you want your developer to have like instead of using hard hat you want them to use truffle or maybe you want want to use rust instead of solidity or maybe you wants to use typescript instead of like normal so you have to mention your requirement as per your project then comes the contribution on open source blockchain platform so it's a really great great for the company and for the developer as well in that way you can easily able to show your skills level that you have the ability to work on a open source project and you can create the benefit for the company so that's kind of create a competitive environment in the company and trust me most of the developer they don't work on the open source because it's not that easy and you can mention understanding of a specific project or a specific technology which you can highlight okay so these are the three preferred skills if developer has it's a great for them and they can have the higher chances now we mention about that how to apply and that's a very easy so when you come to apply you can go with the same one you can mention your google form your contact emails and you can explain that what are the things you need then you can mention about the application decline that when the application decline what will happen what are the time period they have to wait for and what are the information they will get once the application is declined so you have to mention about it because that's called work ethic when you hiring someone when you are taking someone's time when you are taking someone's resume you have to inform them that why they got they not get the job so you have to mention that will create a good feedback for your company and for you as well then you have to mention about the benefits definitely it's very important if you really want to retain your your developer in your company so this provide the benefit like you will get a competitive base salary so the salary can go up depending on the role which you will get and again this is a beginner friendly job it's just entry level job so you can mention uh, salary ex- explicitly then you can mention about the work options like whether they have the uh, work option of working remote or not then you can mention about the professional development opportunity that what extra opportunity they will get as a benefit working on the company then health and well-beingness that include other offers in the company which you provide like performance bonus all of things and at the end you can simply add a motivational quote just like this and you can simply add your tagline of your company and what extra you will can provide them which can drive them to add in your company so this is the basic structure which we follow as a as a when we try to hire anyone in our project so this is the basic structure and again this one is not for the advanced developer because here we are being general we are just looking for a developer who has the skill on all of this area so he can enter into the company and work and after he working for a few months few years he can be specific in any one of the project like it would be working a smart contract react blockchain consensus layer algorithm cryptography so on the basis of that he can be specific but he has to know all of this so i hope you guys have got an idea that how you have to prepare as a entry level job and when he wants to hire someone how you can write a job description good developer for your company so hope this entire thing makes sense to all of you guys if you still have any confusion in down do let me know in the comment section and again i'm going to provide you this entire template so you can simply download it and you can do the modification as per your requirement and you can simply paste hope you guys have liked this video and again we have 30 plus dav project on our channel so if you are completely new and you want to looking for a project which you can add in your portfolio then definitely build all of this project build an nft marketplace build unisop clone build token marketplace web3 chat application membership so we have sort of lot of project which you can consider to include in your portfolio so check all of this project and build so with that i mean this have a wonderful day bye bye